If you have been creating art for a while, chances are you may have envisioned having your art displayed proudly in an art gallery. But what does it take to have a real chance at getting this sought after experience? There is one main thing you have to get right in order to have the odds slant more in your favor if you would like a curator to choose your work for an exhibition. What is this one thing that could give you that much of an increased potential in realizing this coveted aim. The main thing you'll have to do is create between 10 and 15 pieces of artwork in a very specific way. It is this specific way that can give you that needed edge. Stay with me as I show you a few examples of what I'm going to explain about this body of work so your understanding of it will be on point. The pieces of art you create will become a portfolio you'll be able to present to curators of galleries. But what does this body of work have to have going for it in order to be seriously considered? It has to have a commonality weaving through it. What do I mean by that? It has to have a theme, a style, a certain type of look to it that makes it visually evident that all the pieces belong to the same artist. If you look at images of exhibitions in galleries, especially high-end galleries, one thing you'll notice is that it is more typical than not for the pieces of each artist to look like they go together, like a collection. While there could be some exceptions to this, that would be more rare, and it is not a path that is recommended. It's not recommended because bodies of art that have a unifying look to them simply come across as higher end, of excellent quality, and that you as the artist are of a higher caliber. Your work will be more likely to sell and for a higher price as well. Regardless of what medium the art is created from, regardless of if the art is three-dimensional or two-dimensional, or if it's within the abstract or realism genres of art, or somewhere in between, this fundamental principle of a unified body of work remains the same. The clearer that you grasp this, the easier it will be for you to create a body of work that could have a real shot at being curated for an exhibition in an art gallery. Some galleries these days also offer space to display your work and you as the artist pay rent for that space. It's a newer tactic being used. The more traditional approach has been that the curator of the gallery selects the artist he or she is interested in exhibiting and there is then a split in whatever art pieces sell between the gallery and the artist. This is not the only way that it works these days. However, even if you do want to take the route of renting space in a gallery, and even if that gallery has no restrictions on what the pieces of your body of artwork look like, meaning the gallery doesn't care if they look like a unified body of work, it would still be in your best interest to create a body of work that does have some sort of unifying factor weaving through it because it does still convey that the artwork itself is of a higher caliber and that you as an artist are of a higher caliber as well and that you're more masterful within your craft. This alone gives a perceived value of higher value. It can help you sell more pieces of art and it can also help you sell those pieces of art for a higher price. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving me a thumbs up to help my algorithm. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you gained from it. Let me know if you have any other questions and consider subscribing if you feel that my channel can provide more content for you that will help you in some way within your own art journey.